しも原田が2を作るなら。If Harada could make it to, what would it be? まあ名作のアイスべきクソベゲで一個しか出てないタイトルがあるので。Oh, I remember. Okay. I absolutely love what Harada has to say here about Kusage and how its、uh, definition has essentially lost meaning nowadays. People called everything trash, so it's like, so what actually is trash? So re- check this out. Games that never got sequels because they were so bad. Whether it sucks or not, if it sells, we'll make it. And yep, that's, that's usually the way. A lot of game development works in a lot of situations. And then you get some mystery weirdos like, you know, Nintendo and Capcom and shit. And so, stuff just makes no goddamn sense. Old games that are made impossible to beat or are like filled with bugs and glitches, right? Like that, that's, that's a Kusoge, like Hakuto no Ken, the ultimate, right? And I, I agree, like Sailor Moon. And stuff like that. Yeah, pretty good Kusoge games, right? But no, Hakuto no Ken is the ultimate because it is so fucking broken on so many levels with so many characters in so many ways that it's hilarious. Like, some games have some Kusoge like characters, some elements that are pretty trashy. But no, dude, like, that game is fucking bonkers if you actually look at Fist of the North Star, the old Arc System Works fighting game. Look at Hakuto no Ken. And you'll truly understand if you watch it played at a high level. People will say, like, DNF Duel nowadays, and you have no fucking idea how out of touch you are. And that's exactly what he's talking about. Like, the definition of it has changed. Now, Kusoge is just something you don't like, right? That's really what it boils back to. Now, it, now it essentially is like it, the old school term of it, as he's the same old games made impossible to beat or are filled with and just rifled with bugs and issues, and characters are just fucking busted, right? That's Hakuto no Ken. If you want to hear. What a game, decades later, and people are still changing up the tier. I just slightly missed. Ray also actually one of the worst turn boxes in the game. At any point,、so、we'll just, we'll just change this video and go to any point, right? To see how, see how fucking busted this shit is. Just goes for high damage. At yeah, any point, okay, so that's pretty fucking busted, right? Any stars there. Already pretty、But、fucking still, busted. Ninety percent health off、match. of like a regular yeah, tap. The kill. Yep. That was, and then they practically died. Okay, let's go over here. And even、uh, if you don't get the link, that state, that side will keep you in place. What important to know? Okay. Aussie. Okay. Let's go forward a little bit more. Oh no! This,、uh, this, could, this could just be. Oh, he misses the link. Card cancel now. Okay. Another chance. Oh, yeah, that's another thing about Rao. He doesn't have a backdash. He just has that little dodge you saw. Shimmy. Oh, and here we go. Could Hasi get the fatal? He gets the link. Will this be it? Ah,、uh, he doesn't drop it. Oh, no. And the ultimate duff.、Oh. This is an insta kill. Get punched. Yeah, ca- characters、that's、can just、be. combo into their insta kills and shit. Be a heartbreaking. Look up Dora versus Amoeba. Okay, ignore the quality. That one. Just look at this game for a second. You got hit by one move. And I'm seeing in the chat that people are calling. People are calling、uh, DNF Duel and games like Guilty Gear Strive Kusogays? Okay. He didn't die immediately. Which is meaning that these guys aren't playing this at the level that I'm looking for. Interesting pressure. I've played this game before. I've never done this shit because I never learned it to this point. This isn't just one character that does this shit, chat. This isn't just like one aspect of the game that works this way. This is like the whole game. Like every character has some nutty fucking shit that's just like this in just different ways. 
And now we're just going to spend the rest of the 30 seconds of this in-game clock watching this. Is this an infinite? I mean, one of possibly thousands. Right? Is that, is that, a, is that an incorrect assumption? Is this just one infinite of thousands? Oh, the time's up. Here's here's a good one. I like this one. Oh yeah, he gets reverse. So traveling into basketball conversion. He has enough to do this. And he got the bounce. Oh, it's this Here character again. It's the basketball right. conversion. Right. I wish yeah. I had a, you know, like some sort of beverage to take down. Yeah. Because this is going to take quite a while. Yeah, good, uh, good stuff. You can never uh, lose hope, though. Oh, he's taking a picture during it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> sick. You take a so selfie sick. when you get hit. <laughs> oh, man, the friend's taking a picture. Oh, crap. He's still going. That is legendary. He's the combo is still going. I can still hear it. For the love of God. And the round's over. That was amazing. Very nice. Seven hits. Goes for the double DP route, and that's a dead heart. All right, that's it. That's like that selfie, look. That's that, selfie time. Yeah, that that look on the, his face is the look on every experienced Hokutono camp player's face. Look at that! Look at that! It's the same thing. <laughs> he uses the evil fidget. Well, it's not the evil one. That's the injustice one. What I'm trying it's to say is that what people's definition, people's definition of Kasoge. Now, no, see, now it's justified. Those is dramatically that, different than what it used to mean. Oh, so that's how you use those things, now, if right? a game is yeah, slightly imbalanced yeah, in some sure way, it it's a kusoge. It like that. That's when back in the day, kusoge was something a bit more close to old games that are made impossible to beat or filled with bugs. Like this shit. <laughs> You're just gonna wait until you're dead. He's doing it too fast, he might drop it. No, that's it. It's basket. Can you not block this or counter? You just don't get hit. All right, that's it. Don't get hit by that. This could be a drop if he does. Yeah, like I say, uh, if Ray has enough meter, like he's two bars, he can go you know, for a basket. A lot of people of ask, like, in these games that seem... Oh, this is, this like game seems really half, hard to play. Right, and, and a lot of people can't. It's it's hard to process this answer when somebody asks in Marvel vs. Capcom games, "How do I block that?" And the the actual answer to that situation is don't be there. Okay, so there it is. There's the bounce. Once you understand that, the game gets a lot different to play. You actually don't block it. You just don't let it happen. You know, that's exactly how I. Well, felt then you too. just play the game differently at that point. That, if you can accept that answer, right? That's the way the majority of old school fighting games actually were. Oh yeah, nice. The answer is that there is no answer. You're just gonna get fucked. So, so just don't let it happen. That is this old school definition of what Kusoga shit is. You know. And even even some fighting games that are like that, right? Just don't get just don't get to that point. I mean, some people will consider old school Marvel like Marvel Two Kasoge. Sure, I mean, actually, there's a lot there's a lot of elements to it that are like that. But at the same point, not really. There's a lot of stuff in people would consider Smash Brothers Melee like Kusoge, but not really. There's it's not an impossibility. There are answers in the game. It's just that those answers weren't developer intended, which is fine. You know, people just figured out answers in different ways. Nowadays, most fighting games are designed with answers so specifically in mind, right? Because games are now designed by a lot of pro players and people that have been in situations, so they're, they're going to put in answers. They're going to design answers. That's just the way fighting games kind of are nowadays. This doesn't just apply to only fighting games. No, this applies to, like, he, and Harada here is actually uh, talking about, like, old school games that were just busted. Like, you can't even beat this. Like, what the heck is this? But it's still fun in some stupid way. 
He's talking about really old school, like NES games and old arcade games and shit like that. But this isn't just a, a fighting game thing. It's like everything. It's a good definition of how the term has lost like meaning completely and how people even call games like DNF Duel Kusoge when you have a bad matchup. It's like if a matchup is 8-2, like the game is trash, right? It's like, well, you know, 8-2 is a rough ass matchup, but that isn't really that off from some old fighting games that are very celebrated. <laughs> Right? And then nowadays it feels like if something's a 6-4, this game is trash, right? I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know if we're getting that, if we're getting that deep into this. It's just everyone has to have everything be 5-5 five, five across the board. It needs to be extremely neutral from left to right. And if there's anything in between, the game is fucking garbage. It's like, I, I think it's more along the lines of we have a lot more people that are playing fighting games than ever with opinions. And you get to hear those opinions constantly and we never really had that as much before so being barraged by nothing but opinions of people that like think they're good and refuse to like accept the other end of it refuse to like it'd be like me jumping into tekken 7 and just expecting to beat everybody's ass after not playing the game for years and i'm not like that i'm like i'm gonna jump into this expecting that i'm gonna lose because i don't know shit and i'm just gonna try my best right It'd be like it's setting up unrealistic expectations of yourself and then blaming the game that the game is the problem, right? It is so fucking weird how now the definition of what Kusoge is has changed as a result, where anything that's like slightly imbalanced is now trash.